All right, let's see if this thing that I threw together real quick actually flies. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Oops. Ah. Uh. Oops. All right, I've given it some makeshift forward weight. So uh, let's see how it does this time. Oh, oh no. Flew better that time. Not as good as that though. All right, so I took off the 3D printed bit of this skewer and just put the whole thing out front. Uh, if that's not enough, I'll put another one on the other side. I'm also gonna do that if it wants to turn one way, so. Third time to charm, maybe? Probably not, if we're, if we're being honest. It stopped recording, but uh, it flew a little high angle and it was also still turning. So I'm gonna go get another one of these. All right, so I gave it two. Uh, we have a little bit of a breeze, so I'm hoping that dies down. Uh, looks like it's died down for the most part. Oh boy, pull up. Okay, so it actually stabbed these skewers into the ground. Um, tape failed. Five below helicopter seems fine enough. <sighs> Let's turn that off. Um, this is just kind of a thing that I've had for a bit. That I just kind of wanted to see what would happen if I put a motor on it. It flew great until it didn't. Um... I'm curious if I could use a battery that would work with that and link it up to an RC transmitter and receiver. That's going to be, well, it's either going to be in a future video or in part of this one because I really don't know where I'm going to go with this. I just kind of made this because I felt like it. Okay, so reviewing the footage, it looks like a wind gust gets it and flips it over. So it might have been a functional aircraft but it's still not stable enough so i'm going back to the drawing board for airframe so here's a problem i need to figure out a solution for these motors take a 3.7 volt battery this servo takes at a minimum 4.8 so I can't really use the same battery for it. Or if I do, I'm going to have to have resistors for it. And I also don't know how I'm going to wire it up to the transmitter or receiver or whatever, whatever this is called. It's one of the two. Um, because... I don't know, I'd have to look at an ESC for that, and that's, that's the whole thing. We'll figure that out, I guess. Right, I've taken this old Hot Wheels thing, uh, fuselage, and given it a rudder. Uh, it does not have a servo connected right now. We're just going to kind of test to see if this is airworthy at all. All right. Let's test it. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so based on a couple of other tests, including this one, where it looks like the propeller has moved, um, it seems to be showing a clear nose down tendency. So I'm definitely going to have to give it some more elevator. 
or at least something to keep it angled up. Uh, the CG could be the issue. So maybe I'll just put the servo on there, actually, and just see see how it goes. I think I'm going to try that, actually. All right, now we're trying with the servo. Okay, that worked nicely. Um, let's try again. Because, why not? Whoa, hold up. Oh, we're missing a propeller. That could be an issue. So I lost a propeller blade. Um, and what's interesting is I can't replace it because they made them bigger. Which is interesting. Um... I might be able to find one in here for this actual RC helicopter, which I currently have taped to the front of an airplane because I feel like it, except it doesn't clip on. So that's not going to work either. So I guess that ends this. Um, thanks for watching. I'll make another video if I can. Hey. Find another propeller and or B, figure out how to make this whole thing radio controlled. That's it. See ya.